The most common operation that's done for these procedures is called a transphenoidal adenomectomy. It's called that because the surgery is done through the nose. When this operation is done, the surgeon comes in through the nostril into a sinus in the back of the nose. Some bone is removed in that sinus, and in the back of the sinus is a small cup of bone that holds the pituitary gland. Once that bone is removed over the front of the pituitary gland, the surgeon, using a microscope, can see the gland, identify the pituitary and the critical structures around it, and then remove the tumor. Most of the tumors are quite soft. They're, they have the consistency of pudding. And the surgeon uses a long instrument with a little scooping device on the end that scoops the tumor out piecemeal, and it comes out bit by bit. The normal pituitary gland, which may be compressed, it has a different consistency and a different color, so it's actually pretty easy to leave that behind. In fact, it's very rare that the gland is removed or damaged in this operation. Sometimes we need additional adjuncts. So, for example, we'll use a laser that comes down a special kind of a cable and can literally vaporize the tumor without affecting the nearby structures. The surgery generally takes about an hour. Afterwards, Occasionally, we'll put a small sponge in one nostril, but usually nothing, so there's no bandages or incisions. The patient goes to recovery for a short while, then goes to a regular room on the floor. Generally, by the evening of surgery, patients are up, eating, using the bathroom. We watch them in the hospital overnight, and by the next morning, they go home. Nobody really feels 100% after any kind of general anesthetic for a few weeks. It just takes a while to really get, get back to full capacity. But the level of activity is such that people can really get back to normal kinds of activities really within a couple of days and can return to work, can take care of themselves, can manage their lives perfectly well. What people do experience beyond those first few days is uh, some nasal congestion, a sense of fullness like you have a cold or an allergy, and a little bit of fatigue, just not, not feeling 100%.